Whoop! We're starting to find some signs of concern. We got some ATF in the back seat of the uh, of the old monocle here, so maybe uh, maybe she's a little leaky. You never know. I haven't seen it yet, but one thing that was kind of cool. Hold on, let me rip the guy's name off. We had two new rotors for this thing. That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna use them, but maybe sell them, make a buck or two, huh? Some fresh pads. Maybe if we're gonna race this thing. We also found this sweet antenna. What do you think? I was thinking that we need to put this thing like right here. Every time he gets hit, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Do we get an antenna ball on top? I wonder if somebody makes a goose antenna ball. Let me put that fucker right up on top there. New challenge. I gotta come up with a goose antenna ball. All right, we're just starting to uh, really just clean some of the shit out of here. Um, bolts on these go under from the bottom uh, for the seat tracks, um, and they're uh, pretty much roached. And I still, even though it's been so damn long, I still haven't got any oxygen for my torch. So probably just going to leave those for now because that's going to be a much easier job with a little bit of flame assistance. So I'm going to go back to putting a plan together on how to... Uh, Piece this piece of shit back together. Hey, look! Found a back seat! Woo! And a lot of poop. And the floor of my garage! Oh, and some more rot! Hi! There's an echo in here. This car is so big, the trunk echoes. Hello! Sorry. Alright. What a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, it's broken completely. We probably shouldn't show people that. <laughs> Interesting. All right, well, we got the trunk open. Let's uh, let's remember to not close that again. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take that guy off there. That was, uh, we actually separated, you can take a look, because, you know, it's in such nice shape here. Um, we were able to just separate the skin and then turn it from the inside. Because the key wouldn't work. Yeah, damn 70s shit anyway. Well, it doesn't have a mirror on it anymore. Floor still suck. Dash is coming out. Well, it's out ish. Well, the fucking wires in here for a car this old. Oh well. Side windows. Side windows. So, in case you didn't tell, we decided to take the windows out. Actually coming apart pretty easy. I've been surprised watching some of these bolts zip off of here with as rusty as the rest of the car is. Um, it's actually been coming apart pretty decent. I don't know if we'll get the back window or the windshield out today. Um, we might. It's certainly possible. Um, you know, obviously in these cars, none of these wires really matter. Um, we're going to leave the ignition working as it is right now, um, but eventually we'll be able to wire all that stuff. Using a goose box, I have to make Adam whip us one up. Um, being as this is a no-post car, we will be able to put a uh, steel strap here, um, which is probably going to be good with as rusty, crusty, ugly as this thing is. It's going to need all the help it can get. Um, we're building it to rules similar to ours, so if you guys have looked at the One Goose Promotions rules, um, we're going to build them similar to that. Um, this bumper will probably come off and be braced a little bit in a couple spots that are soft. Um, not adding much, just trying to shore up the places that are fucked up. Um, we're probably going to take this bumper off um, and just put a steel tube back here because this bumper is actually in really good shape. I don't feel it's worth leaving on the back of a car that uh, is probably going to have the S end in the back window within a hit or two. Um, so we'll take that off. That'll be a really good bumper for the front of a small car. You know, we can, a lot of extra material here, we can get seam welded and beat the chrome down, make that a, a pretty decent bumper, because um, you guys know I have a bumper hoarding problem. So that'll probably be the case, um, and then obviously still working on patching 
or an idea. We haven't started yet, but we got a couple of ideas for patching the floors, as you can see. Garage floor right there as well. Um, so we got some work to do um, just to make this thing shored up a little bit um, to make it so that Jake doesn't die while he's driving it. Obviously, that's not something we can guarantee, but we're gonna we're gonna at least try a little bit. So I think we're gonna call that one a video. I have no idea how long it is, um, but. I don't really know what else to show you on this thing. Um, I don't know that we're going to get to the point of actually doing much for building today. It's just more of stripping her out and getting it so that we can assess the the level of stupidity we're going to have to go to. Appreciate you following along as always. Good goose.